Welcome to this task on how to create the SQL we need to make the database. My name's Andy Wicks, and we're going to start with this perfect version of the physical ERD that you've created. You've made it look nice, it's got everything on it that we need, so now we're going to create the SQL to create the database. Well, what we need is the link at the left hand side here called export. If I click on that, it asks me to which database I want to export the SQL. You've got a choice of several. In my case, I'm going to be using MySQL, but you could equally select SQL Server, Oracle or Postgre. So having done that, I then click Copy to Clipboard. And that highlights everything and makes it all available in memory. Now, what most people might be tempted to do is to now move into MySQL and paste this in. But, and there's always a but, but what we're going to do is we're going to do a little trick. First of all, we're going to copy it into a text file, an ordinary Notepad++ text file. So I'm going to paste it here. It's still in memory, but if I save that now as a sensible name, so I'm going to call it Secondhand Bookshop SQL dot SQL. Notice the dot SQL extension. That matters. I'm going to save that. And now we have a copy of the SQL should we ever need it. It can be appended as uh, text in an appendix to the coursework. Or if something goes wrong, we've got a backup. So now let's go over to MySQL. I've finished with the exporting, so I'm going to close that. And now I've set up my PHP admin. But the first thing I might need to do is to create a database. It depends on the setup of where you are. You may or may not be able to set up a database. In my case, I'm going to click on New Database and I'm going to call it, unsurprisingly, Secondhand Bookshop and Create. We now have a Secondhand Bookshop database here that we can select. So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to click on the SQL tab. Now I can paste this in again using Ctrl and V and just run it. And as you can see, everything has been created exactly as we asked for it. So for example, if I click on author, you can see that we have an author table with author ID, forename and last name. But we haven't got any data yet. That's coming soon.